Alright, we ready? Yeah. You're watching Short Glass Media, and this is Our Glass. I'm Alan Heath. I'm Kat Birdsell. I'm Rob Davidson. Today we're talking about acting, and in particular, what goes into acting, because a lot of people don't necessarily think about or appreciate that. Yeah. What do you yeah, think? Yeah, um, well, I'm not an actor, so I have no idea. <laughs> 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 um, you know, I, as, as not an actor, I, I think... As not, I, as not an actor. <laughs> good phrasing, my friend. As somebody who is not an actor, I just like to appreciate like good acting and bad acting that I see on the screen because I've never been asked to like like perform like or act like somebody else. Um, mm-hmm. So it's it, I just I don't know how to even. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I have nothing to contribute yeah. to this conversation. <laughs> yeah, I, think, I think good acting is a lot harder than most people think. Uh, you think, oh, yeah. you know, you're just going in there and you're just well, whatever on camera. Yeah, I, I think it's a really underappreciated art form mm-hmm. because you you t- hear people say like, oh, they're just an actor. They don't know. Like, mm-hmm. They they don't actually work. And it's like, no. They, like <laughs> if you see like, there's a difference between a good actor and a bad actor, and it's like, it can make or break a movie. There can be a movie with a really great script. And if the acting is terrible, then it's just going to be a terrible movie. Well, look at how many movies Keanu Reeves has personally ruined. <laughs> Dracula, for one. That would have been Gary Oldman with uh, Francis Ford Coppola directing it. And it was terrible, <laughs> all because of that one man. The Holy original cow. person that they wanted to play Angela in American Beauty was Jessica Beale. Could you have... I mean, hello. Uh, I mean, that movie was made because of the acting and yeah, who they right. ended up casting in it. I can't imagine... It would have just Kevin been... Spacey's awesome in that movie, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Well, Kevin well he's Spacey's a great actor. He's always good. Yeah. <laughs> I think uh, that acting, I think it depends uh, partly on how, uh, like, what what method an actor uses. Um, mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of different types of that. Um, obviously, there are method actors who, the basic principle of it is that you try to become as much like the person or tap into something that the person does as much as possible. And those are kind of the hardest ones to be around. Well, there, right. there's such a pain to yeah. deal with. Now, b- background, I grew up in theater. My dad was an actor, so I've been around acting and acting my whole life. Kat's been acting since you were five? Yeah, five. So we, and I went to a you know school for the performing arts. Right. So we've dealt with a lot of this and have some background. And yeah, method actors... We've dealt with some actors. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, you get some good... You get some good material from it oftentimes, but there's such a pain in the ass to deal with. Yes, like, they're just in sure. character all the time, and it's really annoying. And and depending on the character, I mean, it's, it's dangerous. A, oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Well, and I, you know, I guess if you get a good product in the end, whatever works, but I'm definitely not that school of acting. I'm, I'm of the school of it's acting. So when, yes, yeah. you know, when you're telling the story, when the camera's rolling, you're on, but once they yell cut... You, there's no need to continue doing it. You're yeah, an actor you have for to reason. separate yourself and discover who your character is. But yeah, yeah. One of my, um, one of the things that I kind of like about not being a method actor is I've, I loved learning that you can't judge your character. So, for mm-hmm. example, if I was playing someone who um, you know cheated on her husband and abandoned her, abandoned her children, yeah. I would have to kind of, I would have to look at that and say. Where do I understand where she's coming from? So yeah. it's actually a really great um, thing to study for just being a person in general is you stop judging people and the basic outlines of their story and you have to kind of find common ground with everyone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, a lot of times I think it would be kind of weird to play somebody who's like really bad or really like... I've always know, they're, they're so fun though. They're so, yeah. fun. They're so much play, fun. It's like, oh, I can't imagine ever saying stuff like this. Oh, because you get to tap into that dark side of when yeah. you're in a social situation yeah. and you want to say those things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it's, 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 it, I would imagine it could be kind of therapeutic. Like, it's almost a release of some of that, like you said, some of that nastiness yeah. that everybody's oh, yeah. got. You get to, to yeah. do that. Um, My favorite, too, is the comic relief. That's always the best. Oh, yeah, like yeah. When you get to come in and, and cut that tension, Just, yeah. that's that always a laugh. really... Yeah, that is a lot of yeah. fun. That's yeah. a lot of fun. But, um, you know, back to the method acting. I, I think... That method actors seem like they would be a real pain in the ass to work with, but I think you have to you have to at least research your character and, oh, and know like where they're coming from because he, oh yeah you need to you know do a background yeah story. you need to know who your character you need to is. know your who you definitely need yeah. to know your character you just don't have to be your character the entire yeah. time you're in the show or shooting exactly. I was going to say because it will go on for hours. So what was it? Um, uh, Charlie Sheen and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. All he had to do yeah. was sit in the jail and say drugs. 
<laughs> and he and instead he decided to like not sleep for forty eight hours and yeah. he uh, you know well, caffeinated on set or whatever and it's kind of like you don't need to do that yeah. in Charlie order to look Sheen, disheveled yeah. for, for Major League. He oh. actually did steroids so that he would uh, look uh. like a real pitcher and like. So that he can actually pitch a yeah, little bit. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Well, and that explains he did a lot. Like that. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, and I mean, a lot of people uh, have talked about you know Heath Ledger as the Joker. Yeah. About yeah. as far as method acting and whether or not that had a, a piece to do with it, and I actually got into a really great conversation with a friend about you know when you tap into that dark side and when you find out those things about you that were secret to yourself, mm -hmm. um, and you can't deny the truth anymore and you can't hide the truth anymore, it. I mean, acting, you can discover some crazy things. So uh, we did a show um, in high school, um, Bang Bang, You're Dead, where it was, it was you know, mm -hmm. kind of um, involved with, the premise was that uh, a classmate had shot five of his classmates, yeah. and we, the, the ghosts of the classmates went to his jail cell and tried to find out why he killed them. And so the whole time... It was kind of spent, we did rehearsals and we would do group therapy sessions because what we were discovering about ourselves, because all of a sudden, if you can't judge this person who's gone and shot up a school, the person playing that character has to find where he might be able to justify these things. Mm -hmm. And so it was, and I mean, how bold was that to do in high school? Because <laughs> what did we know, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, but so discovering that and then not being able to go back from knowing that about yourself, it's, I mean, it can be a very intense process, depending on the show. I mean, It depends you know, on the show and the character. It's, and not, all, it's not all Uncle Vanya. You right, know, but. right. No one's going to get that. No. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Proud reference. But that is the problem, not being able to separate yourself when you walk off set or when you leave the theater from the character, especially right. if you're playing something as, as demented as Heath Ledger's uh, Joker. He did yes. a great job with it, yeah. but it obviously took a toll that he wasn't able to separate himself from right. that character and go, okay, that's the character, that's not me. Right. And that's where you get into trouble. Is he? I, I never heard of him as a method actor, though. Is is, is that what he did? Is that is that? I, I don't know. I do know that for the Joker character in particular, he really got he really into it. Yeah, yeah, I did hear that. Yeah. Yeah. and he was taking. You know, what killed him is all the prescription drugs yeah. he was taking to deal with, like mm -hmm. how into this twisted character. He yeah, was. I, I heard Christian Bale is like he, he is, he's a he real is. method actor, but I also heard he's kind of a real pain in the ass. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, and we all saw with that Terminator clip. Well, and uh, oh yeah. Um, it, one of the most fascinating ones to me, and I, I, I'll have to look into this to see how much truth there is to it, but I remember hearing when the Doors movie came out years ago, and uh, Val Kilmer played oh, Jim Morris. Yes. He got so into it that for That's like amazing. two years after the movie was done, he thought he was Jim Morris. That's... And like I said, I remember hearing that, and I'm, I don't, I'm not sure how much truth there is to that, but yeah. I think there's at least some, because he just kind of went a little wow. like crazy for a while because he got that in general. I was just saying, and I think that there, I mean, I think that also has to do with the reasons that people get into acting in the first place. I mean, I know that when I was five, I was just like, I need more attention all the time. And so mm -hmm. other people yeah. saying, oh, wow, that's so amazing that you can do that at such a young age. Mm -hmm. You know, you kind of get into that. And so if that is what continues to be fed, if you don't learn more about yourself, then you kind of get into the, I'm not getting attention anymore. What do I do to get attention? Right. Meanwhile, there are other people who, um, I think it's uh, De Niro who's just kind of like other than that he just doesn't talk very much and he's just kind of to himself on his I'm, own and yeah. yeah I'm more of a shy person like I kind of turn it up for like this but um, <laughs> but outside of here I'm I'm really kind of shy and I keep to myself I don't like attention at all so that mm -hmm. so I'm I'm fascinated by acting but it's, I know it's something that I couldn't like actually do in a, a profession the the only thing in acting that I want. Like, th my acting dream is mm -hmm. to die in a movie one day. If there, <laughs> so if there's somebody who, like, has a movie and they're just, they just need, like, a red shirt, like, Star Trek thing where you just go in, say one line, and then boom, you're dead. Like, I, <laughs> that is my right I can't here. wait. That is my right here. I, I, I'll do it for free. <laughs> he can die like nobody's I can die easily. That's a weird thing. There's an actor one line. Movie. My death scene doesn't last long enough. Yeah. <laughs> well, like, yeah, Star Trek Red Shirt. You just walk in, boom. Uh, walk in, get phasered or whatever. Oh, I'm going to get so lit up. But I think it's that. interesting, sure too, about, um, like you said, about acting being kind of um, not really appreciated. I think one of the things that has been lost really recently is that the, the belief in the philosophy that you need to um, train actors just like any other profession. Mm -hmm. So otherwise you're going to start getting all of this recycled stuff that we're getting. So instead of new actors kind yeah. of emerging, you're just kind of shuffling around the people who already exist. 
And then yeah. I just remember, I, I remember the day that I kind of went, okay, this is enough, was it was um, Ryan Reynolds and Sandra Bullock. And I went, okay, who else are we going to put together? Like, really? Yeah. Because this is ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. So they're just, so right now, there's just not as much of a pool because acting is so kind of like, oh, anybody can do that. Mm-hmm. Well, but, you know, looking the part and being the part, there are some people who get parts because they look at, yeah, and, can't and, and act. Yeah, I hate that because you look at, like, the last Transformers movie. I, with that girl who's like a uh, Victoria's Secret model or whatever the fuck. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she can't act at all, but she like gets this part, and it's like, ah, oh, your acting is making me cringe. And it's, yes. It's, then again, it was Michael Bay, so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, that movie was so really anyway. what we're doing. Whatever ruined for. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Michael Bay. <laughs> I, will, I will burn your house down. <laughs> Not really. Though. Not really. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> good acting, Alan. Good acting. Yeah, see, I'm really good. I'm really good. And Just kidding. <laughs> and on that note, thank you for watching Our Blast. If you like it, subscribe, like it, favorite it, all that good stuff. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Seriously. Damn <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, Michael Bay. Son of a bitch. I hate, Suck I it. hate him so. If he ruins Ninja Turtles, one of, like that's my childhood, man. I know. But he's not directing it, right? No. Okay. He's, he's producing it. Mother. Son of a <laughs> ass. I can't even finish I a sentence. Say, I'm, I'm so, so fl- look at yeah. me. Look at me. I'm so ticked off that I'm not. <laughs>